Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about a no-brainer tool that you can use to grow your business if you have a physical location. So this is a marketing tactic that you can use if somebody is coming to your business, your place of business, or they're staying there for an extended period of time. And you're able to collect marketing data, build retargeting lists, and do all kinds of really cool things. And the best part is, is that you're offering a service that's valuable. You're probably already offering this anyways, and so you're going to be able to capture all of this data and it's a really great marketing tool for physical businesses that have locations where, where clients and customers are spending time. So let's get into this video today. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears. I am a digital marketer, I have a digital marketing agency, I help businesses grow, and I create digital marketing videos here on YouTube. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe. I talk about everything from PPC ads to SEO to email marketing to social media marketing. If it relates to digital marketing, I cover it here. So be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well. All right, so let's talk about this marketing tactic. Now, a lot of companies are actually using this, but on a very large scale. So large scale companies are using this tactic and you've probably actually used something like this. So what I'm talking about here is what is called social enabled Wi-Fi. And I have a service that offers social Wi-Fi, but let's talk about what this is. So if somebody comes to your business, they want to log into the Wi-Fi. Now, a few things about this, they need to be spending a significant amount of time here. People aren't going to connect to Wi-Fi if it's a quick in and out stop or if it's just for a minute. So places like dental offices, veterinary practices, Airbnbs, other businesses that where you have um, clients and customers that are actively coming and spending time and waiting around, this is a great tactic for that. Restaurants are fantastic, bars are great. So if you're growing a physical brick and mortar business and you want to capture the data of these people, this is a great tool. I'm gonna to show you a complete walkthrough here of what the software looks like, how it works, and how you can use it in your business. Now, a few things before we start. Number one is that this is a fantastic tool to grow your business. But if you don't have the systems and the time to do this, then you're gonna to need to hire somebody to do this or you're gonna, it's not gonna make sense for you. Just collecting and capturing this data doesn't do anything for you until you start to use it. So there's a few ways that you can use this. Number one, you can build an email list. Sending emails is extremely easy. The software that, that we have has integrations with MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, all of the major email marketing services out there. Um, we also have the ability to pixel audiences. If you don't know what pixeling is, when somebody goes to your website, or you've probably been pixeled, when you go to Amazon, for example, and you're searching for a product, and all of a sudden you're on Facebook, and the product that you were just looking at is now on Facebook, that's called pixeling. A pixel is a piece of code that tracks the browser that was being used to view the product. Pixeling is a great way to build audiences of people who are actually customers. So along with creating remarketing lists and campaign um, of emails and email lists and things like that, we're also able to build out automations with this and do a bunch of really cool things. So for the next step, we're gonna jump into the computer here. I'm gonna show you some of these applications, how it works, and then how you can get started. All right, so this is the dashboard. From here, we're able to create custom locations based on your business location. We then assign a device to it and the devices that we have have the software that we use enabled on it and then we can create custom campaigns. So we'll assign a device to the location and a campaign to the device. It's pretty simple. Here's what device their campaigns look like. Now we can use a bunch of different social integrations here. We have everything from um, Facebook to email to SMS text messaging. So we're able to collect a lot of great data, but we're also able to customize this login screen. So here's what it looks like on the mobile device when somebody's logging in. We can edit and, and customize every single one of these features here. So if we have this custom landing page, we can say, here is the custom text. We can change this to say whatever we want to. We can name this your business, free Wi-Fi. We ab we're able to edit and modify logos, add headers, change colors, change background colors, add pictures, modify footers, all of that great stuff. Now what we have here are logins. We have these different apps that we can log in and get authorization from. So we have Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, text message, Facebook Messenger, um, 
just all kinds of really good things. We also have credit card logins too. So if you want to add plans, and this is for like, if you've ever been to a hotel and you've um, wanted to buy Wi-Fi, they typically charge you for that. So if you have a hotel or a bed and breakfast or an Airbnb, you're able to charge for Wi-Fi if you wanted to do that. You can set whatever price you want to, and it integrates directly into your Stripe account. So once once you have everything set up that you want to do, the data that you collect is based on the app too. So it's like you get birthday, name, email, phone number if there's one account associated with the account, and that's pretty cool. From the thank you page, we're able to add a like box. So if you wanted to add your company's Facebook page, here's mine, I'm Maverick Digital Marketing. And then the person, once they've logged in, they're able to hit that like button and follow your page directly. We can also add custom text. So like, let's say you're a restaurant, you could say, like our page and receive a free appetizer. And then once you've confirmed that you liked it, they can show the waiter and you're adding likes to your page and followers, which is great. We can also add custom images and HTML code if you want to. So you can embed a video, you can embed anything that you want that's hosted through HTML here. This is great too if you're trying to sell a specific product or service and it just is a very, very helpful marketing tool. This redirect after a at least five seconds can redirect them to a URL for a web page. You can redirect them to your app. You can send them to WhatsApp or Messenger as well. So this is a great way to, again, get further engagement. We're just kind of scratching the surface. I'm showing you everything that this can do. It's pretty amazing and fantastic product for having the customers and clients that are coming into your business to be actual people that engage with you. You can also put ads. So if this is a situation where if you were doing a conference or something, you had Wi-Fi that you wanted to offer guests, you could put ads on the Wi-Fi so that they could see the advertiser's uh, message. And then here in advanced, what we have are custom terms that you can add, weather widgets, opt-in forms, country codes, and then Facebook pixels. So this is super cool because you're able to add Facebook pixels, add tag manager, also add any other custom tracking codes and then a conversion pixel for logging in. Now, something pretty cool about this is that Facebook's ads platform now has custom conversions of in-store visits. And so if you placed your in-store visit custom conversion pixel here, you're able to track attribution from ads on Facebook into the store when people come in. That's huge, that's tremendous um, when it comes to tracking ROI on your, your, your campaigns and things. So when you have people logging in, you're able to see data on these people when they log in. So for example, this person came in, they logged in by email. This person came in, they logged in by email. We're able to see as guests are logging in, I'm looking for a Facebook one. So this person logged in on Facebook. You can take a look at their social profile when they log in and do all that kind of stuff there. So we're able to export this directly and put it into your marketing automation software. So if you want to send out text messages, if you want to send out emails, it's all integrated into this software. So you can add automations. It's pretty cool. Basically, when uh, when you have um, these different triggers, for example, when somebody connects, you can set a trigger, disconnect, set a trigger. When somebody goes inactive, set a trigger, or when it's their birthday. Again, when I mentioned that they use Facebook to authorize, you get their birthday data, which is so cool. So, I mean, if you had a birthday club for your business, that's fantastic because you can send out, I'll show you what these look like. So we have in real time or we can set delays. So let's say somebody came in um, to your business. Let's say you were a hair salon one day after you wanted to send them an email. So you could do one day, you could proceed, you could do it once and then they get an email and it says, thanks so much for stopping by. We just wanted to make sure your, your time was perfect here. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do by replying to this email. If you had a great experience, please leave us a review on and then have a link. So you can see the power of sending these messages over and over again. You're able to take the people who are actually in your business and turn them into customers. You're able to get reviews. Here are all the integrations that we have. You can set up tons of great integrations and and really the sky's the limit here. So along with that, we have 
all of the apps integrations. We have Stripe accounts. If you want to add Stripe payments, you can do that. We have Instagram, LinkedIn, all of these other things. You can also integrate with your CRM. You can have loyalty um, integration, text message integration, um, and use all of these different set, um, things, including webhooks to set up custom zaps and all kinds of cool things. And really, the sky's the limit here. And what this does is it just helps you to really get more out of your foot traffic coming into your business, which is so important. So let's jump back in the office here. I'm going to give you a little bit more info. So if you're ready to get started, head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com forward slash Wi-Fi. This is the place where you'll be able to sign up, buy routers. It's very simple as far as what um, it works and how it works. So if you have a business that's about less than 2,100 square feet, again, Wi-Fi routers have coverage that, that needs to be um, considered. So if you have a very large location, we'll have to use a mesh network. If you have a lot of users, we can use a mesh network too. That's totally okay. The mesh networks that we have available are not on the website. So you're going to need to reach out to me on email. My email is in the description below. But if you want to, to use this, it's very simple pricing. It's $20 per month per location up to $100 a month. Once you hit $100 a month, there's no more fees associated with that. You can add as many locations as you want. You just have to buy the Wi-Fi routers. It's a simple and straightforward pricing model, and I think that you're going to love it. You're going to be able to target and tap into the customers and clients who are coming into your business. Now, these are the people who are the most valuable. They're not potential customers. They're people who are in your business. You're able to turn them into repeat customers, send them more offers, and you know that they're going to be coming in because they know, like, and trust you. So if you have any questions, comment below. I'm happy to see what your comments and questions are. Again, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.